Hi, I'm Evie, and in this video, I'll be walking through the collaboration option in Trimble Connect for HoloLens. First, select the project that you'd like to collaborate in. Then, select Collaborate in the bottom left corner. And here, I'm going to create a co-located room with my friend Daniel. And now you can see my room is created here, so Daniel will go to the same project the same collaboration spot and see this and join my room. Then I'll go to data and select the models I would like to collaborate on and launch them. There we go. Now that the session's created successfully, Daniel's XR10 will start scanning the room and automatically place the model in the same spot as mine. Alrighty, now we can see where Daniel's looking and see that he's accessing this model. So I can reach out and rotate the model. And that pointer coming from Daniel's head just shows me his gaze, so I can see where he's looking in the model. So now I'll just place a measurement to see how off these two models are. We'll go model to model, and I'll measure from the end of the mirror here to the end of the mirror there. Alrighty. And now Daniel can see that measurement. One foot two inches at five eighths. <laughs> Alrighty. I will allow Daniel to be the presenter. And now I can see him manipulating the model. He's creating a measurement there, as we can see. And now to exit the co-located collaboration, we'll open up the menu, press exit, and OK. And we're closed. And now we can see Daniel has ended the room. Alrighty, as we can see, there are no rooms created. Currently, we're waiting for Daniel, who has left this room, not in here anymore, to create a remote collaboration. And you can see the difference when it pops up because the co-located has the two people standing next to each other around the model, and remote has the two people with the slash in the middle. So once the room is created, we'll see that rectangle with the two people with the slash in the middle. Alrighty, and there's the room. Select that and join. Alrighty, and now we will wait for the presenter, Daniel, to place his model, and then I will load the models and place them myself versus in a co-located, the XR10 will actually sense the surroundings and automatically place the model because you're in the same room. Alrighty, there's my models loading up, and I'll go ahead and place them. Okay, now we can see Daniel's view. Alrighty, now we can see Daniel standing right next to me, so I can tell we're seeing in the same perspective. I can see his line of sight and him manipulating the model. So now I will go ahead to remote and request access. And I just requested presenter access. And from here, the collaborate button, you can mute if you're the presenter, hang up the call and see your attendees. So we'll just exit that menu. And now Daniel can see me manipulating the model. And now I will go ahead and go into bird's eye street view and take Daniel on a tour. And he can actually hear what I'm saying. You may have heard earlier Daniel speaking to me through the XR10. This is actually a communication platform that's like being on a phone call and taking a tour of the model together all through the application. So now we can walk around, see the model. I can point out differences. I can show that the models are a little off, as you can see in the mirror. And I can also go in and turn off one of the models. So I can just turn off the clash model, and now we can see that the mirror is all lined up. Turn it back on. I can change the transparency. We'll go back to the menu, exit, and OK. And now I've left that collaboration session, but since I was the presenter, you can still see that room. So I'll just go here and click hang up. And that concludes our remote collaboration. Thank you so much for watching.